out that a, a broad character education movement in this nation can make a significant difference and make us a much more caring society. Do you think character education is the key to a much more caring society? If your answer is yes, you may be interested in starting a character education program in your school. With help from the American Association of School Administrators, we've compiled a checklist of tips to help make your effort a successful one. First, establish a community task force. One of the key steps in getting a character education program off the ground is community support. Involve parents, business leaders, civic organizations, and religious groups. Early in the process, decide as a group what values should be taught. In these early stages, the task force should consider questions like, should values be taught directly or infused into curricular areas? At what grade level is the instruction most appropriate? Who should teach values? Should school staff develop a program or should materials from an outside source be used? What professional development will be necessary for teachers? Next, implement the program. Include a broad group of staff members and students in this phase. When you include those most affected by the program, you encourage a sense of ownership in the project. Evaluate the program. There are some indicators that will help determine the program's success. A change in the number of discipline problems, the number of incidents of vandalism, drug and alcohol use, reports from parents and teachers, and surveys of student attitudes. Finally, implement a communications program to get the word out. Include articles about your character education program in school publications or local newsletters. Look for opportunities to speak during meetings of civic organizations so you can present the curriculum to the community. Parents and other citizens should know what values your school is promoting. The more everybody knows about the program, the more likely they are to support it. Theodore Roosevelt once said, to educate a person in mind and not in morals is to educate a menace to society. His statement may not be an exaggeration anymore. The United States is now the most violent of all industrialized nations. Can schools be the key to improving the character of our nation's children? No one can say for sure, but the feeling around the country is, it's sure worth a try. I'm Bob Opsahl. Thanks for watching.